for hundreds of years this country was asset stripped by colonists. And that's one of the reasons why we don't have the forestry that we should have. But it's incredible that we have a government that is now facilitating foreign vulture funds to asset strip our country again. It's absolutely incredible. The other point that I want to make is we have a serious crisis with regards to biodiversity in this country. And this government needs to wake up to the fact that our lives depend on the biodiversity of this country. The second issue that I want to talk about here is the issue of farmers in this country. Farmers in this country are being squeezed off the land to vulture funds. Vulture funds never end well for this country. Whether it's vulture funds in the housing market, or it's vulture funds in the energy system with the wind turbines, or it's vulture funds in relation to forestry. We need to put the power of our economy, our facilities, back in the hands of Irish people in relation to all of these big issues. Every year in this country there are less farmers. Farmers are leaving the land at an incredible state. Only a third of farmers in this country are actually making a living off the farm. Another third in this country have to work off the farm to make a living. And a full third of farmers are making a loss. They're going into debt and they're going into poverty. This should be done through farmers to give them the income. They are the people who are looking after our land. They should be given the profits from our land as well. And the last point I'll make is around the EU. We should have self-determination in this country. The EU should not tell us where we can invest our money for the benefit of our country, whether it's in forestry or housing. These decisions should be made here and not anywhere else. Gorbila Mahogos.